Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do uh, brioche knitting in one color on the knitting loom. Um, there's a lot of really good two color videos out there, but I just thought I'd show you one color. And this is what I've used to make uh, one of my brioche cowls. So first you're going to start with a slip knot. And I like to put mine on the end peg, on the little end knob rather than on the first peg. Uh, just gives me a little bit of a cleaner look when I'm working. So the first pass, we're going to go across and we're going to do a figure eight wrap. So I'm going to go around. Now, with this, uh, when I'm working my cowls or scarves in brioche, I have put in all the pegs. Well, I put in every other peg all the way across, but I don't actually have to go all the way across the loom. So I'm just going to stop there. And then that's how wide my cowl is going to be or my scarf. Now, push these down a little bit so that you can get a little bit of space for your next pass. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, this is my end peg that I finished on. I'm actually going to wrap this around twice. So that was the first wrap, so I've got one loop here. I'm going to wrap it again, and I've got two loops. Okay. Now we're going to go back and do the figure eight back the other way. And we just want to make sure that our figure eights lay on top of each other, each other so that um, this top bit, layer of yarn is following exactly the same pattern as the lower layer of yarn. All right, and that's my last peg. So just going to do a little half clove hitch there. Now I've got two, two loops on this side and two loops on this side. And all I'm going to do is pick one loop up and put it over the top. Okay, that's all we're doing on this pass. Okay, so now we've got one loop here on these guys and two loops still on these guys. So push this down so you can give yourself some space for the next pass. Then take my working yarn and this time I'm going to wrap it around that last peg again and come around the front peg and we're just going to do a U wrap. Okay, So we're not doing a figure eight, it's not crossing over, it's just a U, but we still want to make sure that this top yarn that we're working currently is following in the same pattern as um, the lower yarn and I'll show you what it looks like when it's wrong um, on the next row. So you wrap here and um, for this I just like to take it around these pegs and give it a little half clove hitch up there just so I can let go of the yarn and still maintaining its tension. So as I look at this there's two loops on this side and three loops on this side. So this is where we start kind of our real brioche and, and what's going to happen for the rest of the pattern. So take the two bottom loops and pull them over the top loop. And that's all we're going to do. Two bottom loops right over the top. So now that we've finished knitting those ones, that side, there's one loop across these guys and two loops on these guys. So now we're going to come back and you wrap. So we start this, this is our last peg here, so we start this by wrapping it around and then going across the other peg. And then we can you wrap and it follows that same pattern. If I come across here and go back. Yes, it does follow the same pattern, but I've only got two loops on this peg and three loops on this peg. Likewise, if I were to go from here over this way and start you wrapping like that, you can see that this top yarn is sort of crossing, like the lower layer is going this way and the top one's going this way, and that's going to cause your brioche to slant. So we 
wrap it around this one once and start our U wraps. And this is really all you're going to do. So you're going to U-wrap your pegs, and then you're going to have a look, and whichever side's got three loops on is the side you're going to knit. So this one's got two, this one's got three, we're going to knit this side. And that is really all it is. So you're going to do this brioche pattern as many rows as you like. Make your piece as long as you want. Um, and then I will show you how to cast off and keep it really nice and stretchy and brioche. -y. I'll show you one more. Take this last peg, wrap it around, and then we just create U wraps on all your pegs. And low pitch. Okay, we're back. So I've just gone ahead and worked brioche for a few inches just so you can see how this looks. Um, here, here's the knit columns and then here's the pro columns which are knit on the other side. So it creates this really deep zigzag, when, especially when you're using a really bulky yarn. Okay, so I've just finished knitting this side. So I have one loop on this side and two loops on this side. So to do my bind off, all I'm going to do is take the side with one loop, pick up that loop, and pop it over onto the other side, which has the two loops. So that we are going to have three loops on one side. And it is very plush, so it can get a little bit difficult. Okay, so everything is off this side, and it's all been put over onto this side. Now I've got three loops here. What I'm going to do is take the bottom two loops and throw it over the top so that we just are left with one loop on the peg. All right, we've got one loop left on here. So now what we're going to do is our stretchy bind off. And I've already done a blog post to show you how to do it in the round, but we'll show you how to do it um, on a flat piece here. So what you want to do is take your, your working yarn and measure it out so it's three times the length of the pegs that you're going to bind off. So this is one, that's two, and this is three. And then I'm just going to cut it off. Doesn't hurt if you give yourself a little bit extra. And then we're just going to put this on a yarn needle. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go up in the loop on the second peg. Down in the loop on this first peg, and then we go behind the second peg, in front of the third peg, and up in the loop on the third peg, down in the loop on the second peg, 
And then we go behind the third peg, in front of the fourth peg, up in the loop, in the fourth peg, and down. And again, like I said, there's a blog post that kind of breaks this down a little bit more clearly if this video isn't um, helping you enough. Oh, there's lots of diagrams and different ways of explaining it. Okay, so that's up in the last peg, down in the second to last peg. And then I would just go back up into that last peg again. And then you can just um, tie it off, tie yourself a knot here. And then you can weave in this end and we can pull all these guys off the peg. Go, pull it all the way through. And there you go.